This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. A few years ago I was a rep for New Idea who sold disc mowers to cut hay with. And the dealers could take the disc mowers after they were delivered, put them together, ship them to the customer and they worked flawlessly. They were great machines. But one year the company changed suppliers of PTO shafts and it created a huge problem. The new PTO shafts were just a little bit longer than the old PTO shafts. We never had to do anything to the old PTO shafts, but on certain tractors, the new PTO shafts were too long. And when you hit a bump or you raised the machine up, something had to give. And what it did, it pushed everything back. It pushed a big pulley into a back shield and did a lot of damage to the machine. And that's when I learned it's really, really important to check the length of your PTO shaft. And I have a situation on this combination right here. I have a flail mower and a tractor. And the, and the tractor has enough power to pull the flail mower. It's a, it's a suitable combination. But the flail mower can be pulled by a tractor from like 45 to 85 horsepower. There's a wide range in there, and I'm not sure exactly what that number is, but it can be pulled by a bigger tractor. So the PTO shaft is actually longer to accommodate either the big tractor or the smaller tractor if the PTO shaft gets shortened. And I'm gonna to try to get in here and show you if I hooked this PTO shaft up, I would surely do damage to either the tractor or the cutter because it's too long. And it's not a big deal for a dealer to shorten the PTO shaft. I'm going to take this PTO shaft off, take it to my local dealer. They have a bandsaw. They can cut off a few inches on both the front and the back half to make it fit. But without doing this, I would probably break the PTO shaft off on the tractor the first time I hit a bump or something. And if you look in your owner's manual, anytime you buy an implement, it will always tell you first to check the length of the PTO shaft. And on this machine, you need to have at least an inch clearance from once you take the PTO shaft off the tractor, where the back half and the front half will compress at least an inch to, to be able to have enough so if you hit a bump or something, you can not do damage. And you need at least 12 inches to have enough of the front and the back half of the PTO fitting together to carry the torque load. So we're going to estimate by measuring the distances from one PTO shaft to the other how much we need to take off, take it to a local dealer, have them shorten it, and put it back together and it'll work fine. Anytime you buy an implement, it's extremely important to check the length of your PTO shaft. If you have a situation like this one, it's on you to get it taken care of because most of the time your dealer doesn't know unless you took a tractor in and had it all fit together how long a PTO shaft you'll need to fit your particular tractor. And that's why it's not a bad idea when you buy an implement if you have a way of hauling your tractor, take your tractor in, have the dealer put it all together and make sure that PTO shaft is the right length. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, especially if you've had a situation where you've had too long a shaft and had a, a bad thing happen, let us know about it. Put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.